What's up, gamers? <laughs> Let me just pull up my my little seat here right quick. And then let me grab a Coke, cause oh boy, oh boy, do I got some shit to say right now. Uh, here we go. Oh. <laughs> three and three, the Dallas Cowboys have just gift wrapped and handed the New York Jets their first win of the fucking season. Bruh. We we lost to the Jets last time we played up against them. I was actually at that game too, for those who remember. We've been around that long. And <laughs> we lost that game, but we lost it with Matt Castle. This time we had Dak Prescott. This time we had Michael Gallup. This time we had, you know, a talented defense, supposedly a talented defense, but, you know, going into the season. Now, these motherfuckers look below average, in, in my opinion. Voice crack. God damn it. We just went out there and made the worst, uh, the worst ranked offense going into this game. The New York Jets had the 32nd ranked offense in the NFL going into this game. We, <laughs> we come out and we give them three easy touchdowns. We come out and they just make it look easy, scoring all over us, marching up and down the field. I I really am not as as upset or as <laughs> or as pissed as I should be. But I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Oh my <sighs> Okay. Offense absolute fucking garbage. Once again, we, you know, we had a little flame coming out of the second half uh or coming out, you know, at the start of the second half and uh we pretty much just fell apart ever since. Um, I mean, we did score a touchdown, but we didn't, we damn sure didn't get that two point conversion. And look, Cowboys fans, man, they're going to sit back. They're going to want to, uh, they're going to want to sit back and blame Brett Maher. Yes, he should have made that field goal. But at the same time, Cowboys fans, you got to sit back and ask yourself nine minutes left in the game. You're down by 12 points. You're getting fucking bitch slapped. You are getting embarrassed on the road against the New York fucking Jets. I don't think, you know, a field goal, that would have been appropriate if, you know, we were getting that, if we were getting beat that bad, like early in the game, first or second quarter maybe. But in the fourth quarter, you need to start playing aggressive, goddammit, okay? What, what even was it? Fourth and four, fourth and five or some shit? You need to go for that shit. You need to start scoring fucking touchdowns and quit fucking pissing around with fucking field goals and shit, okay? We played, we went out there, and we looked so fucking scared. We, <laughs> we played so fucking scared against one of the worst teams in the NFL and gave them a victory and gift-wrapped them the fucking win. This team... You know, <laughs> oh my god, dude! <laughs> you hey, y'all thought that the Giants or the Redskins were the laughing stock in the NFC East? Let me just go ahead and put us in the basement right now, <laughs> okay? It's time to start tanking this shit. It's it's time. It, it's time to fucking say sayonara to this season. Every Cowboys fan watching this, dude, listen, this shit has been over since fucking February, all right? 
this shit has been over for a, before the season even started, okay? This season has been down the drain for months right now. It's time that we collectively, as a fan base, recognize that this team is not shit, okay? People are going to say, oh, where's Cowboys, you know, where's Cowboys Nation at now? You can say here we are, but that doesn't give you, you know, that, that doesn't give you the green light to start acting like a fucking retard and saying, oh, we're going to bounce back. You know, we're still going to make a playoff run, bitch. Shut the fuck up, okay? The season is over. Oh, well, last year we were three and five. Yeah, we were three and five and we did what? What did we do? What did we do? Yeah, we came back 10 and six, but what did we do? This, that's the big picture I've been talking about for the last few years now, Cowboys Nation. My, oh my fucking God. I swear, it's like Cowboys fans go fucking brain dead when they hear this shit. Whenever you talk about management, whenever you talk about ownership, whenever you talk about the Joneses, whenever you talk about coaching, they're fucking, they just go brain dead. They go to their fucking nothing box inside their goddamn skulls. <sighs> I'm just, this team, <laughs> oh my god, we are actually the laughing stock of the NFL. The Dallas Cowboys, man, we are the biggest fucking clowns in the NFL right now, and it's not even close. The entire fucking fan base, well, you know, 80% of the fan base is nothing but a bunch of fucking clowns. But what pisses, you know, people who are even bigger clowns than the Cowboys fan base, and this is really is really saying something, are two kinds of people. People named Antonio Brown and Dallas Cowboys, I call them NFL fans, but Dallas Cowboys haters, I hate saying the word here, so I just call them NFL fans, but bigger clowns than the Cowboys fan base are one, people named Antonio Brown, and two, NFL fans who say we suck, call us cowgirls, and say that we're completely shit, and when you ask them why, they start talking about Dak Prescott. You know, Tony Romo is really a respected cowboy. Uh, you know, he's... He's... He's so fucking respected and it's even a meme actually that <laughs> that you know even nfl fans are starting to realize man we took tony romo for granted but back then whenever the cowboys lost you would blame it on tony romo who the fuck is jerry jones the thing is y'all go off on how badly we suck but what's even more embarrassing is that you don't even know why we suck when Cowboys fans know why we suck, the 20 percenters, they know why we suck, but y'all don't? Isn't that supposed to be y'all's job? <sighs> Jesus Christ. I'm. <laughs> and then you have the 80% of the Cowboys fan base bickering with them back and forth, you know, talking about the, the, the talent we have and all this shit. Dude, talent is meaningless if you don't have a good coach. And you aren't going to have a good coach if you don't have good management. And you don't have good management if you don't have a good owner. Okay, the season is over. The season has been over. Hell, fucking next season might be over. That depends on who we get as our next head coach. That, hey, <laughs> that's leaving. That is up, that is completely in the hands of the Jones family. Ugh. Dude, it would, <laughs> it honestly would not surprise me if they picked up fucking Mike Tomlin. I'm being dead fucking serious. I would not be surprised if the fucking Dallas Cowboys <laughs> picked up Mike Tomlin. You know, the black version of Jason Garrett, dude. I am so fucking done with this team, man. We just, we just came out and we just got blown the fuck out by the fucking New York Jets, dude. And Cowboys fans next week, you know, they're going to be like, oh, today is a new day. This is, hey, it's a new game. 
it could be different. Don't sleep on us, Eagles fans. Shut the fuck up, okay? I am not looking forward to next week's game. I'm not even working next week's game. I am, A, I refuse to work any fucking primetime games at AT&T Stadium because I am not coming home at 2 in the fucking morning dealing with drunk-ass Cowboys fans, fucking high-fiving them after every time we score a fucking touchdown, knowing <laughs> that it's for nothing, that it's for fucking nothing. I am so fucking sick of this team. I am sick of talking about the same shit every year. Give me new material, Jerry. Give me I double dog fucking dare you. Give me some new material to talk about. Bring in a fucking young, level-headed head coach that can relate to these players and will actually fulfill the duties of a fucking head coach. Please, give me some new material to talk about. Or I could just keep going off on a tangent at this... Uh, with the same exact shit every single year. <laughs> and you could just sign Mike Tomlin. Or or no, 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 no. <laughs> Jay Gruden, please. <laughs> oh my fucking god, dude. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Cowboys versus Jets. We got our fucking asses handed to us. People are going to sit back and blame this game on the referees. People are going to sit back and blame this game on Brett Maher. While also totally, 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 totally neglecting the offense, the offensive and defensive ineptitude. Completely neglecting, like... What Tony Romo was trying to say, Jason Garrett has his fingerprints on this offense. Is is this, I really hope this isn't Kellen Moore, man. It just, you know, it can't be Kellen. Please, man. Why did we go away from the fucking play action? Like, what compelled us to start going, hey, you know what, we shouldn't do this anymore. Jesus, hey, at least we finally incorporated fucking uh, Tony Pollard into the offense. At least we started finally somewhat using him for like a couple of plays. You know, switching things up a little bit. And now we have Amari Cooper. He went out with, what, a, a quad injury, I think they said. He might not be able to play next week. Fuck me, dude. Ah, <sighs> okay. And next week isn't going to get any better. You know, our offensive tackles, they, they weren't that great. So, that Philly front seven? Shit's going to get a lot harder for Dak Prescott. Hell, he's going to get injured next week. With all the With all the shots he took today, man... Oh my god, if those... If either one of those tackles plays on Sunday... Against the Philadelphia Eagles in Arlington, prime time, Sunday night football, Dak Prescott is going to get injured. And we're just going to keep on continuing to waste talent. <sighs> I'm just, I'm done. I'm done. I'm fucking, <laughs> I'm done for right now. This team just took a gigantic shit in front of... They just laid the fattest fucking egg. They just shit the bed right where the whole world can see. So much for that dynamic offense. So much for that baby doomsday defense. So much for them hot boys. Demarcus Lawrence, you have absolutely zero fucking business going over to the San Francisco 49ers Instagram talking about how they stole your shit 
when they've been they've been more hot than we have the entire season. They're still undefeated. They just went out and beat the shit out of the fucking Rams. What the fuck have you even done anyway? <sighs> All right. <laughs> Biggest highlight Demarcus Lawrence has had so far is telling that fucking little Giants fan, you need to get another jersey kit. Look, anyway, I I'm done. I'm fucking, I am so pissed off, dude. Okay, we have the Philadelphia Eagles next week, and I'm pretty sure after that we got a bye. Um, <laughs> oh, dude. Y'all think today is bad going up against a New York Jets head coach? Just wait. Wait until we got to go against Sean McVay. Wait until we got to go against Bill Belichick. This is fucking unbelievable, dude. Anyways, I'm gone. I got to... I'm going to drink some Cokes. Just clear my head. Play some music. Fucking whatever. <sighs> the Dallas Cowboys, man... You just laid the fattest fucking egg. And you, Cowboys fans are going to sit back and do this whole, oh, well, next week is different. What the fuck is different? What's, what's different about this year than last year and the year before and the year before and the year before? Explain to me that. I'm done. I'll see you guys next week. I'm not working next week's game. Fuck that. I am not... I'm not, I'm not, I am not going to fucking do that. I just, <laughs> I'm good. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.